seemingly there is a being greater than the Witch of Envy. The Witch of Vainglory or Vanity apparently is the progenitor of Envy in like actual like Catholic religion lore. I don't know how much that really means anything in terms of the ReZero history, but think about this. Why can she use reality bending moves to remove Regulus and shit like that, but she cannot simply summon the seal here or like unseal it? She needs like the key because that part of the area is a distant, lawless zone, right? That white nature, it's not like frozen material. That part is not bound by the laws of the world. So I'm sure that's why Pandora is like restricted and using her authority to get there. There's some crazy shit going on with Regulus, his powers, man. You've already seen me just go off in those like cut content videos. I still don't completely, I don't think I'm even close to understanding his powers, but I feel like whatever he's doing, right? He doesn't take damage and seemingly whatever, he, he has like authority of fucking everything. So he throws dust particles up, that shit can rain down like fucking bullets into the ground, just erasing shit. I don't know, we need to more, see more examples of that. It's also pretty much implied that Pandora killed Amelia's parents, right? Everything is assumptions in Reserve. There's no actual confirmations. And even when the author says something, motherfuckers are gaslighting me and say not the author lies. So I'm going to take care of that. And I think we left off last episode with baby Amelia being just manipulated by this evil fairy, which was Pandora. I was fucking correct to assume that the spirit that showed up was something bad, just like Melaquera, you know, taunted us back in the day in Frozen Bond. Let's begin today's reaction. What's the key, though? Is Amelia the key? Hmm. And now we know with the cut content that this is not a seal for the Witch of Envy. Because that seal exists in some sort of desert location. And now I want to meme around and say like, yep, this is going to lead to Japan, bro. It's going to find us the basketball. But another assumption could be is this still is related to Satala or the Witch of Envy because this seal, you unlock it and it's a portal to the desert place where the actual seal is like a pre-seal. <laughs> Archbishop now. Hmm. So if we assume that like her powers cannot be used here to full extent because you know this area again it's not frozen or snowy but it's just like this like realm that's not bound to the laws of this world around us. Is this the best location to fight Pandora? Right, because like every, anywhere else, it seems like you kill her, she rewrites history. Like it doesn't really matter. She just rewrites the script. But in here, if you were to kill her here, right? If Fortuna landed those ice moves here, if Betrigis did something like, if Regulus did something like, I don't know, maybe. What do you want? What is that open to? It's a bit too late for that. Where is the key? Are we the key? Is Emily the key? I don't have it. Uh -huh. So like figuratively, Emily is not even like the key. It's an actual object. The basketball is the key. Back at our place. It's <laughs> <laughs> terrible, bro. This is the most passive aggressive manipulation to a toddler, but like they look like both toddlers, so it's funny. It's just one toddler is an actual toddler, and the other one is just like this all knowing fucking witch in the form of a toddler. Like, what the hell? This is, this is kind of hilarious. What's Emilia supposed to do? It's like, oh, you're gonna kill everybody. Oh, I am I the key? Okay. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> what? See that again. And in the beginning of this trial, I thought it was like a self-proclaimed thing that I am the witch's daughter. But uh, if we're going to go with that logic, then Fortuna's brother is a elf. 
but the mom is maybe human and then the mom was an actual witch which which was it which of what sin specifically i wonder the witch of melancholy no i'm just trying to fit that shit in because apparently vainglory and vanity and melancholy were like two extra og sins that existed before <laughs> No, she can't just say the seal is now open or the key is in my possession because this territory, this region, is outside the laws of this world. And I'm assuming that Pandora cannot use her powers to rewrite the histories of this world because this is not her world. You know what I mean? Where's the key? What's Emilia gonna do? <laughs> Like, what's this child gonna do? Imagine her perspective. She's just a little baby, bro. She's being forced to do something or else everyone's gonna fucking die. She's like, what, what key? What fucking key do I have? What? I'm gonna put my finger in there? <laughs> she is the key. Amelia herself is the key. I don't think Pandora did this though. I still am gonna double down that this is not Pandora's authority that allowed the key to manifest here. Or else she could have simply done it by herself and says, open the, in front of me, the seal will open. No, 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 no. I'm still standing by that. Like in this area, it doesn't work that way. But a key existed in Emilia's hand. It's like this time? It's like this time? Emilia was like borrowing Pandora's authority. You know what I mean? Like if we assume that Pandora herself can't do this shit, but somehow that authority can be used as a proxy by Emilia just saying I'm the key, then maybe that's what's happening. Or it has nothing to do with Pandora's powers. And it's just because Emilia is the chosen one who is the witch's daughter and somehow this just works that way. <laughs> She can't see it? Huh. What the fuck? Don't do it, Amelia. Fortuna, Fortuna, show up, Fortuna. Ooh. Don't listen to her, Amelia. Don't listen to her, Amelia. Don't listen to her, People surviving here? Or people dying? Mm. Well, that was an interesting proposition. By keeping the promise, no, resolving all this harmoniously by breaking your promise and open the seal or the other one, get us to leave and overcome this. You will keep your pro like the, the first option is pretty much fucking impossible, right? But at the same time, it seems like Amelia is so essential to this E, to this seal, that like Pandora herself cannot just kill Amelia. She's way too important. If she dies, then this seal is presumably never openable again. But she can still go around torturing everyone around Amelia to make her feel terrible until I guess she gives in. Hmm. <laughs> Neither. Fortuna should show up anytime now. She got the hair clip, bro. あと約束したの。約束を守って。だから。お母様。自分の出身である And is so interesting. It was like last episode too, when we when she saw like Betrugus and Fortuna suffer together as they tried to save Amelia and live for their ideals, right? Fortuna was like, sorry, Pandora was like smiling, like crying tears of joy. But then the other interpretation is that like she is just a sadist and she just wants people to suffer. I don't know if she's trying to understand the emotions of these non-witches or if she's trying to just like watch people suffer like ants. Even right now, Amelia rejects and Fortuna and Pandora's like, yeah, it's fine. Is it really fine though? Okay, so my question earlier on was 
in this territory where the laws of the world doesn't, you know, work the same way as the outside, will she die if she gets killed by it? I'm gonna guess, I guess, no, it will not die or else this wouldn't fucking matter, right? <laughs> nah, she's gonna be fine. I also think that it is very intentional that this is the third time now that a girl has been brutalized, just is pierced through, just shredded up because there's a kink for people to have gore for lolly. Yep. That's what I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. There is no way they've done this three times in a matter of two fucking episodes to this one girl. Nah, it's 100% intentional because the same lollicons that enjoy Pandora, there's also a subsection that loves the gore of the lollies too. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say that. I mean, I still feel like because she can't like just solve the seal herself, there's a limit to her powers in this area, but she can still like, maybe the healing, I don't fucking know. I'm still gonna assume that her powers doesn't fucking work here exactly as it works outside. <laughs> Doesn't matter to her. Oh, that's a that's the best. That is probably the best fortune I ass shot so far though. One hundred percent that one is. Did that actually happen? Did we actually hit Amelia? Was that all just a genjutsu? I don't fucking know, bro. I don't know. Yikes. Then it's impossible. Don't break that promise. No. Double down, Amelia. No. We do not negotiate with terrorists in this channel. Absolutely fucking not. Fortuna, I know your ass isn't gonna do it. Don't do this. Archie resumed the position of the guardian of the Elior Forest for like a whole fucking six minutes. But hey, goddamn, I respect that man. Remember, he cut his leg off and froze the injury, not because he thought that it was going to protect him, from the poison from the Black Serpent, but rather to slow down whatever it was so that Amelia didn't have to see Archie in that situation, which I think is so fucking raw. <laughs> Archie fulfilled his duties. Emilia, Emilia, <laughs> Creepy. She was watching from far away and now she just appears right beside it's like, oh, having a nice time there? Yeah, I like this intimate moment. Is she actually moved though? Like, is she truly like understanding what these emotions are? Is she kind of like similar to Echidna where she's faking these human emotions to manipulate Natsuki Subaru? Because witches are not humans, you know? And she, like, again, her entire thing was, like, she loved, she respected the love between, like, Juice and Fortuna as well. I don't know, is she just trying to understand? Trying to relate to these foreign emotions that she ha she wants to know? I don't think so. <laughs> Juice is still alive! Of course he's alive. <laughs> Subaru had to name his technique. <laughs> so do you think Juice also named his technique like that? Because like Subaru was like, hmm, unknown palm? 
unknown fingers? Ugh, invisible providence. This one. Because, like, you don't just get this shit. Like, in data life, when you become, like, a fucking, like, a spirit, right? Somehow, you're given all this knowledge of all these different skill sets and moves, so you know these names. But in this show, it's not really the same, right? So Juice just, during that process, like, unseen hand. That's what I'm gonna fucking call it. <laughs> Check again, bro. I think she swapped bodies again. Uh, someone got fucked up. Not, and it's not gonna be Pandora. Did she? Did she? Did she swap a juice? Oh! Juice ends up killing Fortuna, huh? Pandora's stupid ass skills though. What the fuck? Or, or was it Pandora's skills actually? Cause his vision has been blurred by these ready eyes the entire time. I could believe that it wasn't actually Pandora. And Juice just accidentally did this because of the vision in Paranus? I'm not sure. Like he can barely see. No, 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 no. To his eyes, he did kill Pandora to him. But again, to everyone else, it's actually Fortuna. Genjutsu. Genjutsu, right? It's, it's a Genjutsu shit where, like, fucking Fortuna slapped Amelia, but it was actually Fortuna, right? I, I think it is. I don't know. It's, it's obviously her powers at play here, right? But more evidence that Lolly Gore, gore, gore content. Yeah, yeah, lolly gore content, bro. They love this shit, bro. That ain't ketchup. Oh, he ended up killing the one he loved! Yeah, you caused this! This power is so insane. <laughs> This is it. This is the actual descent into madness. Now it makes a lot more sense. Beyond just the instability, right? The incompatibility with the witch factor. I think this is when he truly goes fucking insane. His brain trembles for the first time. It's not even your fault. <laughs> And some next level coat. Holy ASMR. This is some next level manipulation tactics at play. But like... It's kind of like positive manipulation, you know? Cause she could have done the exact other thing. She could have taunted his ass and be like, Damn, bro, you really killed the one you love? You fucked up, man. Holy shit, I cannot believe this colossal L. Everything is your fault. Yep, you see those two? On you, bro. Right? She could have done that, but she didn't. Positive gaslighting. Positive manipulation. Right? Therapy. Good therapy. Now, she fucking created the situation, but she could have, you know, just taunted him beyond that. Oh. that last ASMR line, bro. Hairpin transfer time. Hairpin. Mom, what were they like? I don't know. We need pre-pre-fucking backstories. She dead? Aww. Fortuna really is our mom, man. Real parents matter, but Fortuna was there when it really mattered. Her backstory is so depressing, man. Hairpin. Hairpin. Yeah. El Fears. Hair. 
One last Sugoku, bro. The last Sugoku. No, go away. I don't want to open that shit for you. I'm still gonna keep the promise. Fuck you. She, she fucking manipulated this toddler still. She's like, shit, the promise. You don't need the promise anymore. She dead. Come on now. There's no more promise. Open the door. No. It was the key again. The hairpin. The moment. This is it, bro. This is it. The replacement. This is a turning point. Now. I wonder what Pandora is saying right now. Like. She actually thinks this logic makes sense to her. Because she is this insane, unrelatable person who is a witch. So again, we're just seeing more of like what these witches are really like. To her, this makes sense. To this cold, ruthless being that has no understanding what human love or like, you know, actual like non-witch love is. He's like, oh, well, promise. Well, if I get rid of Fortuna, Amelia has no promise. It makes sense, right? Maybe to a fucking robot, it makes sense. But beyond that, there's these emotions that you could never understand, right? These nuanced things. Just more display of Fortuna, sorry, Pandora, just like wanting to know human emotion, but she can never understand truly. New hairpin. No. This is the shit we saw in Frozen Bond. These are the ice plumes where it draws the blood. What? But wait, 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 wait. This is magic happening, right? This, because again, it, it has nothing to do with I want the key and the key possessing. It's not like she's reality bending right now, right? It has nothing to do with that. This is just Amelia's latent powers actually fucking blossoming. <laughs> More Lollygore. <laughs> It is just absolute magic, yeah. I mean, we knew in Frozen Bond how strong she really is, right? We've known in Frozen Bond how strong she is, but like, holy shit. <laughs> Dude, imagine if this Amelia existed in Arc 1 against Elsa. Bro, holy shit. Like, this is crazy. She is so nerfed. And, it, and, and if we can somehow remove this nerf and have her be able to control these powers, like, Amelia, I think, is one of the most formidable peoples, right? Die. Die. Everything's become frozen. And now... This is the berserk moment, right? When everyone in the Elder Forest becomes frozen beyond like thawing, regular thawing. It's interesting that Pandora's knows like when to back out to. <laughs> she's straight up like, damn. Well, I don't think she's gonna listen to me. I'll come back next time. Good luck. <laughs> For like a hundred-ish years or something. Never thaw. It truly was all of just Amelia's powers. But it's not like regular ice either though, right? Because like, regular ice shit. You, you could thaw it, but like, this is beyond just like regular thawing. There's something special about this fucking freeze. <laughs> Offset by someone with power comparable to yours. And does that mean we're Puck? Is, is that Puck right over here, right? I can only think of one person that has like similar, like these kind of powers on that scale. <sighs> We're gonna meet her again, man. When are we gonna meet her though? Holy shit. Oh my god, it's a prophecy. She gonna say we're gonna meet again. What what arc? When's she gonna come back, bro? Is she gonna come back on arc five, arc six? I don't know, but this is fucking crazy. And I guess it's also confirmed now. Now I don't know if the black serpent is in this forest, but for sure that venom 
that took out Archie, right? A a basically, everything that you saw un uh, unleashed by Melaquera was frozen by Amelia, right? Now, now. I think one of the greatest tragedies or like a really fucked up condition of like, you know how Amelia's wish is to thaw the people of Elior Forest and Roswell's like, surely if you become a monarch, right, you can save the people of Forest by un just like figuring out how to thaw them. Wouldn't it be so cruel if we assume that the Black Serpent is also in this forest right now and it got frozen along with it and the only solution of thawing the people out and get the people that Amelia loves back is to also release the serpent back into the world? I think that would be very tragic. Now, I'm just talking on my ass right now. There's no confirmation of any of these things being, you know, true, but it'd be pretty cool. Erases memories. Gaslight. All that shit is gone now? So she basically wiped Amelia's memories of Pandora just now? Also, is Echidna and Amelia around watching this shit? I haven't seen them in a while. Like, because it, it's kind of like silly how Pandora wiped the memories, but somehow we saw the memories exactly happen again through a trial. I don't know. What do we see here? Is that a... No, that's Pandora. Juice. It's no longer a juice. It's better to juice now. <laughs> the day... Alpha Orinus laughed, or Orion or something, or Betrigus laughed, right? Again, last episode, right? The episode title is The Day Betrigus Laughed. Just like the, the Maiden's Gospel, but it's like, what, what fucking Maiden? Then the next episode, it was actually Biko, right? And for this too, then the next episode, Betrigus laughed. These motherfuckers keep doing this shit where their fucking title hints at the next episode, which I think is really cool. Rather than having a title of an episode, kind of like spoil the context of what's going to happen in that episode. To have a title of the episode hint at what's going to happen in the next episode, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Fortuna! And is that it? And that's it. And the craziest thing so far is that I thought that Puck and Amelia have already met pre-Frozen Bond. And that's why when Puck finds Amelia later, Puck is in tears saying, I'm sorry it took me this long to find you. Which I thought was an implication that Puck interfered too much with Amelia, and therefore the oath punishment erased his memories, and then only could he find her many, many, many years later. But I don't know. I guess none of that shit fucking matters. Maybe Puck is already aware of Amelia some way, somehow, and has been observing from far away. Please Every time it's convenient for you to leave out the context and clues for the actual greater plot with endgame characters, it's some bullshit like this. Like, uh, uh, yeah, Kid doesn't like Amelia right now, so no. No. <laughs> hmm. A kidness face she's making, does this matter? Can't see her eyes. It's a face of sorrow, sadness. I'm I'm not really sure if this current emotion in the kidna is making matter. みんなが助けようとしてくれて過去を思い出し後悔を見届けた後はね試練に対する答え己の最大の後悔 <laughs> right, this is the first trial <laughs> We got two more after this shit bro <laughs>過去の自分を肯定するか Accept or reject Amelia what is it going to be Accept it? Amelia's sin? Which sin? 
Is she guilty of? Wrath? I don't know. I I'm not sure if that really matters, but like... A toddler fucking going berserk? Like, like she, I know she froze them, but like, what sin specifically? Would it be wrath? I, I, I don't know. Amelia, what's the answer? Subaru's the answer. Mm -hmm. Happy memories. And I'm sure Fortuna is proud. Okay, in, in terms of like power, no, you're very strong. But in terms of like what that, like, like, but Pandora's powers are unfair, you know? It's, it's, it's bullshit. <laughs> it's just on that eyes and bleach level, you attack somebody. <laughs> Since when were you the when were you under the assumption that you attacked me? Oh shit! Momo got stabbed again. Oh shit! Juice fucking donated Fortuna even though he was hitting Pandora. It's bullshit. It is it's total utter bullshit. That's right. Fortuna is very glad. I think Fortuna is very proud. That's right. Not necessarily. There's still people of the forest that we can still thaw out, right? It's not just Fortuna. It doesn't mean that just because if we assume that they're all gone. I don't know. I feel like um, there's still reasons that she can make to just keep moving forward along with Subaru. Exactly. And so might the serpent. Could you... I just think it'd be so fucking sick and twisted if saving these people meant un unleashing the fucking Kuro Heavy on, on the world. Mm. Oh, that is nasty. Oh, that is... She finally has the powers to save the people that she loved. And as she thaws them, their entire body starts to melt. Oh, oh, bro, no way. It is, imagine the worst. That's the most doomer fucking take. Mm. That's a good outlook. A kid that doesn't like that, right? Because technically, that could come true too. Like, how are you gonna know, right? A kid that gave the worst possible outcome, Amelia's going with the best possible outcome. And I think that there's, as long as there's hope, right? Just keep fighting on. See it to the end, no matter what the outcome is. I better unfreeze them. I'm monarch now. No one raises him. It's looking like Amelia has cleared the trial. She's accepted the past. Even though there's a lot of regrets, it's fine. She got the closure. She knows exactly what to do now. She's moving forward. The trial has passed her. You pass. In a good way? <laughs> kid, this, this list of insults to Amelia is just so fucking excessive, bro. The amount of fucking ways to describe how terrible Amelia is. You loose woman. Yeah. Sure. So what? <laughs> she just says it in the worst fucking possible way, bro. Keep using your mother's sacrifice as your selfish excuse of resolve, bro. Or how about we honor our mother's sacrifice and how proud she was that we kept our promise till the end. And to then hope for a better future by saving the people that had this misfortune happen to them. 
Like, you just take the worst fucking way to paint this shit. It's just, oh my god, Echidna. She really took it personally when Subaru rejected Echidna's contract. And then remember, Echidna saw Emilia Subaru kiss. Echidna also saw, like, like, this is her graveyard. And Subaru vandalized the graveyard, drawing pucks and say, You can do it, Amelia! EMT! So, like, if you think about that shit... Yeah, I get why she's pissed off. I get it. I totally get it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, there's too much trials. But yeah, I think that there is such a juxtaposition going on here, right? Between what Echidna's saying and what Amelia's saying. And what they're both saying isn't really wrong. It's just how you interpret and want to move forward in life. There's not one way to do things, right? And both sides, right? Echidna's saying this shit, Amelia's saying this shit, right? It's just like, you can just have these naive ideals and be fucking just like, <laughs> just be shit on it. But at the same time, it's like we can also abide by those ideals and hope for a better future. Two sides of the same coin, maybe? I'm not sure. <laughs> Oh, really? Easy clear? Yeah, I know. You're very honest about that. Yeah, that's pretty witty. To kind of clap back and say like, I, I, I don't like you. I don't hate you as much. Implying like, yeah, I know how salty you are. I could never match that level. But I'm also not going to say like, I like you back. But just kind of say like, I still kind of hate you. I think Amelia won there, man. E-M-T. E-M-T. It's okay, Amelia. You're a big girl now. <laughs> It's okay. You just need to grieve and get over it. It's gonna be fine. The permafrost of Elior Forest, man. But there's still a lot of episodes left. We're not over yet. Shima! I feel like uh, we left off at a really important part, right? There's a fucking huge cliffhanger, right? I forgot the exact thing that got cliffhanger though. What? And they, they, and, and, and they off screened it. And now we're seeing them explain what that cliffhanger secret was. Your wish of a 400 years on me now. I, I'll have to go back on myself. I, I remember. Yeah, the reason for the sanctuary or some shit. Ah, fuck, it's been a while. He's following the name scheme. No more Baba, it's a Shiba, Ryuba. What the? Sometimes you're just like... That's you too, bro. You got shit on just now. Hold the fuck up, Ram. Ram shit on you too, Otto. Yeah, cut off, bro. I actually got cut off. More idioms, bro. I don't get it. But something about this is nice. The boys, bro. The boys just walking back. We got a crew. Super ain't alone. You know, it's, up, it's like, damn, we have some semblance of like a friend group to hang out and work together. Like, it's, it's a bit too nice. I'm, I'm afraid someone's going to fucking die. I still think Oto's going to die. I don't know when, but I feel like Oto having such an impact on Subaru as like one of his first friends. I don't think Yulius counts as like that first friend. I know in season one, it says my friend, right? There was stuff like that. But, was that a one-sided friendship? I don't know. I feel like somehow Otto matters a little bit more. We've been through a lot more. I know that Julius and us use fucking neck. It's very personal shit, but I'm just very scared on like, what Otto means to Subaru as like a 
like a like a pillar of support emotionally, being a friend, and Pape being the cruel motherfucker he is, like. Be on your guard. Voice fed only. No What's he doing? Do it the go you can the kitano. He dressed up. Ah, okay. He he already no more bands. He's not just in bed anymore. I wonder if it's because the Gromar told him to start moving, but uh new Roswell. Nante Sonna Kia Ira to Terrorze. Oh no, you can Matakosh the Kesho Stajo Tai. Shit. I forgot about that. He did say that he took that so literally. Oh my god. Alright, Roswell's down with a straight bed. Yeah, so that the makeup is like war paint for Roswell? What battle? What are you talking about? Alright, he's dressed up again. Yo, Roswell, Glaze Otto Otto right now. This is the first time Otto is actually in a room with Roswell talking to him, right? Like, literally since the beginning of Season 2, this shit's been set up. Even in break time. Just like Otto's pride versus many Roswells. <laughs> yeah. Oh! <laughs> yeah. Wild card. <laughs> Because he's found the grimoire. You actually got left out of the prophecy foretelling the future. That's, that line is very intentional. As in like Otto was like an unknown variable that Roswell himself could not even account for with the grimoire. Interesting. Is there a specific reason why Otto's not mentioned in the grimoire? Maybe the grimoire has no business talking about people that don't really matter to the script that it wants. And Otto is an unknown variable that was created through Subaru. I don't know, this line seems very important though. Maybe this is just him being a background character and it's just a funny gag and I don't have to read too deep into it. Otto. Unknown variable. <laughs> Insignificant friend. Come on, man. You gonna throw him under the bus like this while the credits are rolling with the ending playing? No, Otto Suen. Here's the introduction. <laughs> it's kinda scary. <laughs> that's that's a very like intimidating line. The next time we meet, I will not overlook you. Sounds like he's gonna be very thorough. Uh oh. What? <laughs> yeah, but it was Otto this time, huh? Best girl Otto. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, and then the real reason why the sanctuary was created got left out a cliffhanger, and by the time we came back for it, it was already told, so we have no clue why it was created, right? I'm sure we'll figure that shit out in the future episodes. So troll, man. And ladies and gentlemen, that is today's episode of ReZero. Oh, man, the... This is some heavy shit. Like... Frozen Bond already kind of hinted at how sad Amelia's past was, but now that we have the full context, and I don't even think it's really the full context, because there still needs to be pre-knowledge of this when, like, Amelia's parents were still around with Pandora, right? What happened during those times? We don't really know, but we have at least this. Amelia's past is so, so sad. Juice as well, man. Pandora manipulating gaslighting accidentally kills his love. And Pandora is so interesting in how she is always affirming these 
moments of passion and, and suffering. And it's all because of love. She just wants to know what these emotions are because she can never understand. I'm not really sure. Fortuna and Amelia's ending, pretty sad. But at the very least, Amelia did, you know, stick to her guns. And she did not break the promise that she made to Fortuna. And Fortuna was very proud. And we're gonna simply go with our selfish ideals. And we're going to save everybody. I don't care what Echidna says. I don't care, right? The determination, determination, the hypocrisy. I don't care about anything of that. We're gonna be egotistical about this. We're gonna be selfish about this. And we're gonna save the people that we basically froze off. Is there anything else happening? No, that's pretty much it. With the Roswell stuff, I wonder what this actual figurative battle will be, right? Now we're telling Roswell to surrender because we have more lore information about how the Sanctuary is made through Shima. So we'll have to see exactly what it is. I wonder if Roswell himself will actually start fucking fighting us. I'm not really sure, but only one way to find out after the next episode. If you're still here and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. Until next time, take care.